Okay, this is section 2.2, .2, addition of real numbers. When we finish today, I want to make sure you can add real numbers using the rules of addition. And I also want you to recognize the properties of addition. Now the rules of addition state if we have the same sign, add and keep the sign. If we have different signs, subtract the small number from the large number and keep the sign of the larger number. So in the first one, I have 5 plus 3. I have a positive 5 and a positive 3. So I have signs are the same. I'm going to add and keep the sign. So 5 plus 3 gives me 8. The next one, I have negative 10 plus negative 17. Once again, I have the same signs. I have a negative 10 and a negative 17. And I'm combining them with addition. So once again, I'm going to add and keep the sign, which gives me a negative 27. Now you could also see this problem written a different way. Another way to write this problem would be negative 10 minus 17. Signs are the same, add and keep the sign. So those are two equally correct ways to write that problem. A negative 3 plus 89. I've got a negative 3. I have a positive 89. Up, oh, signs are different. Subtract the small number from the large number. Take the sign of the larger. So if we go over to the side of 89 minus 3, So my answer is 86. I look at the 89. Okay, it was positive, so it's positive 86. Now I have 16 minus 20. A positive 16, a negative 20. Once again, I'm going to take the small number from the large number. So now I have 20 minus 16. That gives me 4. I'm going to look at my 20. The sign of that 20 is negative, so I know that my answer is negative 4. Now let's take a look at some of the properties. The commutative property tells me that if I add a plus b, it's the same thing as b plus a. So I prefer to look at it in terms of numbers. So that tells me if I have 2 plus 3, it's the same thing as 3 plus 2. The order that I add two numbers doesn't change the sum. So 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 2 is 5. Now the associative property tells me that if I have a plus b in parentheses plus c, that it's the same thing as a plus parentheses b plus c. And I look at the associative property as who I'm associating with. In the first half, I'm associating a and b are associated together. In the second side, b and c are associated together. So on this one, I may have something like negative 5 plus 6 plus 2 is the same thing as negative 5 plus parentheses 6 plus 2. Now the identity property, I, look, I think of this one as looking in the mirror. You get back yourself. And whenever we add, like, see, a plus 0 is equal to a, Hey, what I got back was A. So now let's look, what if we have 3 plus 0 is equal to 3. You always get back what you start with. Now the inverse property, the sum of the number and its opposite is 0. 
So if I have a positive a, I don't know what a is, plus the negative of a, I'm going to get zero. So that would work the same as if I had five plus negative five is equal to zero. Okay, now let's look at some examples. Six plus zero is equal to six. Okay, I got back what I started with. So that's going to be the identity property. Okay, now I see a bunch of parentheses. The first one I'm going to look at is the associative property because I want to see who they associate with. So I have four plus negative three plus two. Here's my four again plus, oh, here I have four plus negative three associating together. Here I have negative three plus two associating together. So it is the associative property. Now on C, I have negative three plus two is equal to two plus negative three. Well, I've just swept the order around, so I think of this as like my commute to work. The distance from home to work is the same as my distance from work to home. So it is the commutative property. Now D is in a different color because I just want to see if you were paying attention. Now I see those parentheses again, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check and see if it's associative. So I have 4 plus 2A plus 5 is equal to 5 plus 4 plus 2A. Hmm. Inside the parentheses both times, I have the same number. I just don't know what that number is because it's 4 plus 2A. Oh, but I've changed the order. In this one, 4 plus 2a is first, and in this one, 4 plus 2a is second. So it is another version of the commutative property. And I know it's not the associative because who they were associating with did not change. Negative 9 plus 9 equals 0. Oh, negative 9, positive 9, those are inverses or opposites of each other. So we have the inverse property.